My name is Cadet Han. I run every day. I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, three days a week. No obstacle can stand in my way. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And I will never quit. On today's episode, I'm going to show you the skills it takes to survive in the unknown. This week on Man vs. North Pole. Welcome to North Hall here at the University of Michigan. Now, this is one of the most isolated places in the university. Few even realize this building exists. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the building for seven days and find a way to see if I can make it in there, eat, sleep, survive, and come out to show you how to prepare for what could possibly happen to you. But first, I had to find a way inside. Now in a building that's as secure as this one right here, you have to seem to find your way around it and then turn through a secret location like I'm going to do here. Now if I were you, I wouldn't try this too often, but in a situation like this, I'm going to have to. <coughs> Alright, I'm in. Some thick brush right here. And the only way to go through obstacles like these is just to go underneath them. All right, now that we need to find our bearing, so we can find the highest place to find out where we're going from there. Oh wow, look at this right here. Oh, this, this would be perfect to climb up my bearing. Now when you're climbing steps that are as treacherous as these ones, you need to be careful and it definitely make sure that you hang on to the handrail right here at all times for safety. As you can see it helps guide you up the stairs in the most efficient manner and also the most safe. Little did I know that as I climbed higher, the trek became more and more treacherous and my grip on the handrail became tighter and tighter. Oh wow, look at this. Long way down. There's not much of a view from here. I guess we're just going to have to go a little bit higher. Oh, good. Look, look out, look out. Get back up, back up. There's just some loose stones right there. Could have gone bad. All right, we'll have to be extremely careful on our send up to here. Wow, just check out this view. This is how I absolutely love my job. All right, all right up, up here, here we go, here we go. Right. I got it. Right. Wow. Oh, I seem to find my way up here. As you can see, it is, uh, it is quite the barren, barren wasteland up here. Well, it's spectacular and just incredible view. I don't know. Absolutely love this. Love this. This place being up here, why well, I do what I do every day. Surprises were waiting around every corner. <sighs> Not so sure how uh, how good my footing is up here. Oh jeez! Oh. Man, that was quite the fall. I have no idea. Well, I'm even at right now, but I haven't seen anything like this ever before. Well, let's see if I can find out where exactly I'm quite at and where I need to start going. Uh, careful, quite an incline right here, man. Be careful. What watch step? I've got a dead end. Oh no, we're still good. All right. Well, this pillar that's right here looks older than my great-great-grandmother. 
No idea how long this has been here, and hopefully it is up to building standards and code. It's quite old. After going around in circles in this inhabitable wasteland, I was starting to become delirious and figured I needed to get some rest. Oh, so I'm starting to get a little bit dark, so I think I'm going to try and find a place to sleep for the night. So in case you ever get stuck in North Hall, I'm going to show you how to make a makeshift shelter so you can find a place to sleep as well. My handy saw that I take with me everywhere always seems to come in handy. What I'm going to do trying to build a sort of bed up on top, uh, so elevate off the ground so we can get any sort of rodents or any sort of little creatures that are running around here that are not going to bother you in the middle of the night. So I'll take this one and start going out this one from here. And then, uh, now I'm getting on part of the frame here, so I can build this in. Must be one of the legs, part of my bed. Look what we got here, guys. That's nice. Sturdy piece of furniture which I can lay down and stay out of the elements for the night. Now I think one more thing we're also missing here is a little bit of bedding. I think it'd be good to find. Um, just be able to start moving around through the caverns a little more and see if there's anything I can find down here and um, use it to cover up for the night so I don't get too cold. Oh, 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 oh. oh what a find, what a find. Oh my goodness. This place gets more and more bizarre by the minute, that's for sure. All right, well, let's head back. Now, as nice as having a blanket is on top of our bed, we're still gonna wanna find or make some sort of pillow for me to lay my, my head down on. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do, in case you're ever in this situation, is how to make a pillow out of scrap parts that you may potentially have inside of your backpack like I do. Duct tape, gauze pads, and here we go. It's a little bit of hard work duct tape and gauze pads can do for you. All right, I think I'll probably set for the night right Definitely hard to sleep in a place as quiet as this. Definitely kind of spooky inside of North Hall. When you hear all those stories about people coming in here and never coming out. I'm hoping they're not going to be one of those people that I can find my way out in the morning. <coughs> oh my god, Jerry, what's that? Okay, no, I guess I'll, uh, uh, I guess we'll go back to bed now. Alright, well, hopefully get some shot off in the morning, they'll hear my strength. So I can hunt down some food. After constantly being awoken, by shrieks of horror. I knew this wouldn't be a good day to sleep in. With a long day ahead of me, I knew I wouldn't make it far without some food. All right, ready to go. All right, so we can find ourselves some food here and um, get going on our way out of here. Now North Hall, if you look high enough, you never know what you just might find inside of here. Oh, hey, hey, look. This. Ah, now this may not be much, but to get you through some of those tough times, back in the days when I was just an IMT, they get you through just about the toughest of times on the next, on the next part of the section, next event. They're beautiful. Now, important thing is with these types of meals is you have to make sure you do not eat the outside of these. You have to gut this, this first. Now. I'm going to show you how to do it, so when you find yourself in this kind of situation, you'll know how to do it as well. Now, contrary to popular belief, you can actually eat these completely raw, and they're just as good for you as if you were to cook them. That may not look so good, but when you need it, it tastes absolutely great. Now that I've had something to eat, I was on my way for a deadly encounter. All right, now you see in there, some of the most deadliest creatures they have in here, inside of North Hall, one of the POC. Now, from my own experiences, the legends that they say about North Hall, these are definitely a force to be reckoned with. Now, I've even heard rumors that they seem to just show up out of the blue at the middle of the night or any time during the day. If you take a look at this one over here, looks like he probably doesn't want to be bothered. I mean, not all of them are this nasty and mean, but this one I think he's different. Let's just move along. All right. Oh wow! Look at this. Whew. Oh man. 
Nothing, it's just more refreshing. Just a cool little bit of water after a tough day. Ah, tastes great. And it feels even better. All right, now I'm fresh to go so we can find a way out of this desolate and evil place. Look down there. You know, that might just be, could it be? Ah, see, the, so see those sets of doors down there? Goes through. Oh, oh, there might be a way. Let's have a go. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, keep up, keep up. Come on, come on, keep up now. All right, look out, watch your head. It was great to be back out in the wild again. And with this segment of my adventure finally complete, I was looking forward to a good night's rest. But I probably wouldn't get it because I'd be back at North Hall early the next morning.